from years back, Bill Watson, the county attorney, informed the county commission that they would have a responsibility for reimbursing if they terminated the lease. And that's been discussed numerous times. Well, the only thing that's before us today is the matter of resolving the South Carolina Airport Authority. We have the authority to do that. We have the authority to plan a new authority if we choose to the airport ourselves. At this point in time, the matter before us is resolving the South Carolina Airport Authority. The matter present in that is the question. Sure. Yes. Yeah. For somebody. There's a lot of experts in the room. I understand that. If the authority is dissolved, does the lease continue? You know, that would, that would constitute a, a, a termination of the lease, and the sub-lessor would continue on the property as a holdover tenant pursuant to the provisions of the lease until a new lease could be negotiated or the property placed for public sale. Mm. So the operation, for all purposes, would remain the same? That's correct. There was a question that I think mentioned, and I have always been led to believe the county cannot sell a piece of property other than to a non-profit organization without public notice and auction or some form of, other than a direct sale to an individual. That is correct. Then I was also informed that the county cannot lease to an individual. If that's correct, then the whole darn thing is wrong. But be that as it may, if you can't lease to an individual, how is the original lease made? It's not that we didn't try to do a new lease. We had a couple of meetings when this came up, that is the airport authority. All five members were present. All five members discussed it. And it was determined that Mr. Bailey was under the assumption, which may be correct, that he had a lease that entitled him to do what he was doing and didn't want to negotiate a new lease. So I, as a member of the commission, I mean as a member of the authority, but not a member of the commission, said it appears to me that we should try to salvage the relationship between Carl Bailey and the Cabo County Airport Authority. I recommend we try to negotiate a new lease and a sub-lease with a strong and firm provision that gives the commission what it wants. I think what the commission, me speaking, not these people and not the airport authority, it seems to me that we have given Mr. Bailey 40 acres of tax-free property. He has made improvements on it, which are tax-free. He operates an outstanding organization, as what you all have testified to, that's the proper word. The last time I was there, he had great pride oysters, too. I don't think I would get in the biplane to go up with him, though. And I'm not about to jump out of an airplane. That is a public service, and there isn't any question about it. I've run businesses in this county all my life, and I paid taxes, and I provided some public service. But I was trying to think in my mind, which sometimes works and sometimes doesn't, I'll bet you if Camden Park had tax-free on everything they did, they could operate a whole lot better than they do right now. So the question I think is, 
what is best for the county. I don't believe the two ladies or myself or our administrator want to run an airport. We don't know how to run an airport. Yeah, you could probably find somebody. But Carl has put together more than an airport, and I'll agree with that. Now, whether over here, all of the things he's done, offset over here, the things that the county has not managed to be reimbursed for in any way or the other, sort of is the, in my mind, the side of the question. The airport authority has not been able to reach an agreement with Mr. Bailey. And so the resolution, as I understand it, is to allow the county commission to negotiate directly with Mr. Bailey to negotiate a new lease. Jim, I did send a request to build new hangars, if you'll recall, and you sent a letter back with David that stating if I would sign it if, and relieve you of having to reimburse me for anything that I do there, and that you could terminate me at any time you like, right, David? We got that letter. Uh, then I could build my hangars. So you were aware of it. Yes. Is that a commission action? Uh, yes, sir. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a commission action. Bill Watson. I don't think the commissioner voted on that. I, I've never had it come before me. Now. I've well, we've got a copy of the letter. We did not vote on it. It takes commission action. Well, it's just like you didn't vote on the 2017 lease that he's talking about. That's so right. therefore, so it then it goes happen. back to the 2006 lease. And on the 2006 <coughs> lease, there's <coughs> attachments to that that's got all the drawings on there everything that was going to be uh, built. There's also communication from Steve Zoller, who was the uh, manager at the time, stating the fact that uh, everything had been completed. And obviously we had to have had your approval because as everyone in this room knows, you cannot get a liquor license without a lease. But I mean, it's fact. Call up to ABCC and ask them. So I had it at, in 20, when was that? 2006. 2006. So you guys did approve it. Absolutely approved it. Scott's done said he did. Scott was here, Nancy. Well, I was too. Okay, well, let, so, okay, let me, let me say this. Two of, two of them approved it. Two of them approved it. That's right. Okay, I'm sorry. 
I but that was the original in the beginning. Nothing's been approved since then. It had to have been approved. Not by the commission. Okay. If it's not. The 2017 police You, you can't get a help from it without a doubt. Right. You have to have a help mm -hmm. from it to do both. The 2006 lease is still the operating lease. And the 2006 lease had all the attachments to it, what the requirements were for the construction of the walking trail, the, the playground, all that, and all of it had been done. And that's a part of the lease. I've never seen anything um, about building any structures on the property, such as planning, campaign, and those things. They never came before the commission. Never. So, so, I was saying in the beginning when he's not been here since. So, you just went on the authority last two years ago. Yes. Uh, actually, exhibit B calls for hangers, picnic and playground area, walking path, 12 camping sites, and existing parking. Well, at that time, though, when Bob was here, Bob Bailey and Scott, they, they, it was a verbal. It wasn't a written. It was a verbal that we had the approval to do. Well, that can't happen, though. But it, it did, and you guys, and then after it was built, you gave me, you gave me the, the lease. I took it up there because you guys had to sign it off. You, uh, the county had to sign it off in order for me to get those licenses. It had to be done. Well, we can research our minutes, but I don't think that happens in the commission. So here's my consensus for my day. I, I'm not a lawyer or nothing like that. But it seems to me you guys didn't have your ducks in a row. Mm -hmm. uh, our responsibility is to get your ducks in a row. You guys didn't put your ducks in a row when you're trying to penalize him in hindsight. Oh, we should have done something better. Okay, that time came and went. You didn't. And he's got letters. It's, it, it's not his fault that you guys can't determine what in the world you want to do and what you have the authority to do. It makes no sense at all. Well, the authority was given to the, the authority itself, but everything has to be approved by the commission. And what we're saying is there were things done that we didn't know anything about because it didn't come into it. But it's so split. It, well, some people say one thing, somebody says another. Well, that's what I've heard here all day. Some of that's it's true and some of it's not. You know. So you said I'm evidence. <laughs> we don't want to go backwards. Don't want to go So then, what's your proposal to me? I have, I have a question for any attorney in, in the room that's going to be inside. Is this a valid lease or isn't it? And I think that's what we have to determine. If, if the lease is valid, then we need to honor what was in the lease. Bill Watson. So my question is whether it takes a mediator or a court of law or a court um, that. that attorneys and all parties to come to that agreement, we need to know, is this a valid lease? And if it is, it needs to be upheld whether we like it or not. But in looking at the lease um, from 2006, it's saying, I'm trying to clarify with you know, the um, back and forth here, that the um, sublessor is the public corporation created by the Capital County Commission by resolution adopted at a regularly scheduled meeting on December 17, 1980. So the sub-lesser in this agreement for the lease, from what I, you know, and I deal with a lot of contract law, you know, realtor, um, it says that, the, the, so we have to identify who is the sub -lesser. And in my opinion, or looking at it, the sub is the corporation um, or the entity that was created by the county commission. And that would be, if you look on page three of the lease, the lease it says alterations to premises, sub lessee, which would be the, um, the commission mm -hmm. says, okay, the, the airport shall not make any structural changes or additions to the premises without the prior written consent of the sub lessor. So you go back to the beginning of the sub um, agreement, and it says that the sub lessor is the authority, the, the airport authority. So that's who, would, in my opinion, would have to make, um, you know, the would have to go through them to make any structural change basically. It would be the sub lesser, which would be the airport authority would have to make that. So I'm not sure that means the commission or the authority. That's a question for council. Any council? Yeah, in the primary lease, the lease between the commission and the authority, uh, it's in paragraph four.
four of paragraph uh, five. Lessee, that's the authority, agrees it shall not make any structural changes or additions of the premises without the prior written consent of the lessor, that's the county commission. Well, you're reading from the sublease. So the way it works was the, the commission owns, owns the property, leased it to the authority. The authority subleased it to Robert Newland Airport Corporation. What was provided in the commission's lease to the authority is you can't make any changes without the commission giving prior written approval. And it's been said the changes that have been made out there, because the authority wasn't frankly doing its job, were never brought before the commission, so the commission could, as we're doing today, put something on the, an agenda, have it in writing, have it debated, and have it passed by the commission. It's all been, I hate to use this term, sort of a good old boy network of, well, somebody said we could do this, or somebody sent us a letter, or that's not the way public bodies are supposed to operate. The authority hasn't followed the Open Governmental Meeting Act, generally. It hasn't published notice of meetings. It hasn't had a written agenda. It hasn't taken minutes. And so we find ourselves, all of us collectively, in a mess that we're trying to straight at, straighten out by essentially, to some degree, starting from scratch. Dissolving the authority and trying to, and with everybody here, I think, is in good faith and wants the airport to continue operating. But it has to be done in a legal manner with, so you don't expose the commission and the authority and the taxpayers to potential liability. That's what we're really here about. What do you mean when you're taking all the money to call? 